many may know, Black History Month is celebrated during this time. Yet I don't see much of a celebration taking place here at DHS. All races should use this time to better educate themselves about African American heritage. With the black race having a fight for the same rights as others for over 200 years, there should be no need for any minority not to know basic names of African American American scholars, for example. Um, I consider myself to be an average teenager with the same ambitions and dreams as the rest. One day I hope to contribute to the cycle, cycle we call life. With all due respect, though, I will not pay attention to people who know nothing about history. You will continue to make the same mistakes if you don't know anything about the past. When I recently called a portion of the city class on their views of Black History Month, I received, received several comments saying it shouldn't be observed for a whole month or asking why there isn't a Black History Month. If so, <laughs> if so many people believe that Black History should not, shouldn't have its own month or shouldn't be celebrated at all, then why do I see so many women trying to make themselves darker by teaming or boys use, trying to use slang that's generally used by African Americans? Mm -hmm. In the case of white Americans not having our own history month, I say we have that every day. We study predominantly white historians throughout the year in history class, classes. According to the U.S. Census Bureau website, as of 2012, 63.7% of the nation's population is white, making the largest portion of all races living in America. Caucasian people have dominated every aspect of the country since the humble beginnings of the United States. And in that time, the U.S. has undergone many wars and allowed bondage of other human beings. This should abolish any notion that there is no need for awareness of other races. As a DeKalb High School student, I feel my peers should be more conscious of, her conscious of heritages other than their own. However, I commend those who do not, who do have respect for themselves and those of other races. And um, I really feel honored to introduce Derek Smith here sitting beside me. He's going to present the award. And Derek's been a very um, active and advocate in the DeKalb community as well as the community for many years. And I'm glad you're with us today, Derek. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 This is a great honor that I could uh, present this award to Andrea for having the courage to speak out, you know, speak of my, speak against the uh, trend, speak outside the box, because. Uh, as you look at the educational system, not only in the, uh, the high school, but at the university too, it's not uh, friendly when you talk about including everybody in the whole scheme of things. Because everybody had uh, some contributions, major contributions, to make this country the great country that it is today. And for her as a high school student, when peer pressure is probably the most dominant thing in the high school to speak out, knowing that she would get backlash, but she just felt that she had to speak her heart. And we want to give this award to encourage her to continue to speak her heart and to continue to stand up and do the things that she knows is right. All right. Peace Award and Scholarship presented to Audrey Henderson Sawyer. Would you look this way, both of you? <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> hug. <laughs> All right. Do you have the check, too? No. Where is the check? <laughs> I would find it. It's in the treasure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, uh. The best Thank student you. speech that we've had. Thank you very, yeah. very much. Right. You're here.